Welcome back to another tutorial from Temex Studio guys. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a page curl effect inside Photoshop easily. Let's start. The first thing I'm going to do is to grab the rectangle tool. Then I'll just click once on the canvas. Now I can enter the width and height precisely. Now the next thing is to align it to the top right. So I'm going to switch to the move tool. Click on these three dots and make sure align is set to canvas and not selection. Then I'll send it to the right and send it to the top. The reason I'm sending this shape to the top right is because I need the page curl effect to appear from this section. If at all you want it to appear from this section, then align this shape accordingly. Now, if we select these two layers and make them smart object, then let's press Ctrl plus T and then click on this button to enter the warp mode for a second. As I grab this section and pull it this way, you can see the effect happening. The only problem with this is that, as you can see, there is a very sharp transition here with the white shape that we created. So let's fix this. I'm going to press Ctrl plus Z several times to go back. Then with this shape selected, I'm going to switch to the path selection tool. Then I'll click on the fill and choose gradient. Now I want the gradient to be black and white, but I want the direction to fall on 65 degrees, just like so. You can also click on this button to swap them. The only part I'm interested in right now is the upper part here. So let's make this part transparent. The way you do that is you select this top from here, this one at the top, and reduce its opacity down to zero. As you can see, it blends in so nicely with the color at the top. Let's select these two layers, right click, and convert those layers into a smart object. Now I'm going to press Ctrl plus T, and simply click on this button to enter the warp mode again. Then I'll just click here, and pull it this way. If we zoom in now, you can see how nicely it has been transitioned from this color to the background because we made the black portion transparent. I have this other image here. I'll simply right click and duplicate the layer. Then I will change the destination from this document to this one. I'll click OK. Here it is. I need this particular image to be at the back so I'll just drag it down. Then right click and convert it to a smart object. Then I'm going to transform it. I'll scale it up like so. Then I'll right click and then choose Flip Horizontal. Then I'll just confirm the transformation. The next thing we need to add is a drop shadow. So with this shape here at the top, which is the image, let us rename it to image by the wind. Let's select it, click on the effects icon here and choose drop shadow. Once the layer style window opens up, let's reset everything to default. Now you can just hover inside the document, click here and just drag outside to bring this drop shadow as you can see. If you are pulling along and you need exact values as the effect I'm going to get, then input the following values here. First, I'm going to make sure that global light is not checked, then I'm going to change the angle to minus 156. I'll set the distance to 21 and adjust the speed to 9, then I'll drag the size up to 70, then I'll click OK. If we toggle here for a moment, you can see the drop shadow being applied and it makes a whole lot of sense. So this is how you can easily create a page curl effect inside Photoshop easily. Thank you for watching this quick video and I'm going to see you in the next one tomorrow. Bye bye.